Hi, I know that my previous video was already too long, but actually I forgot to include a lot of things. So I hope I will be able to cover those in this video. I will talk about the accommodation in Olu, opening up a bank account, things to do after you've arrived, expected monthly expenses, and other tips. But first, let me thank all of my Erasmus Filipino friends who have been very, very helpful to me when I started this journey. So let me promote their programs too, and please check the link below. Again, I will be placing blue circles at the bottom right portion, representing the number of links in the video description below. So let's start. Opening a Euro account. You don't need to worry about not having enough cash because in Finland, almost all of the transactions are cashless. I mentioned in my previous video, I had 10,000 pesos worth of cash in Euro, but I never really got to spend it all because using the card is just so convenient. So I recommend opening a digital bank account such as WISE or Revolut. You could check this link from a vlogger who explained in detail how to open an account. But why do I recommend opening a digital bank account? There are two reasons for this. First, you need it to pay for your apartment rent. You could definitely use your Philippine bank accounts, but paying in different currencies takes dates. And second, and most important of all, you wouldn't be able to open a Finnish bank account that instantly. So you need a euro account to receive your monthly allowance. I opened my account and got it verified even before I arrived in Olu. And this is also what I used to pay my initial rental fees. To open an account, you can use my referral link below. Then, once you had your account verified, you should order the card too. Now, if you're like me who had your WISE card verified with your Philippine IDs, then your address must be in the Philippines too. But again, there's a big but. WISE cards are only available to certain countries, and sadly, that's only three in Asia, and Philippines isn't one of them. So once you have your WISE account verified, you can then change your address in your account to the address of your accommodation in Finland. Then you can order your card. So how much do I pay for this? You have two options. 3 to 5 days delivery for 16 euros and 8 euros for within 14 days delivery. Of course, I chose the cheapest one. I ordered it on August 28th and it arrived on September 15th. Lastly, you have the option not to order the card if your phone is NFC enabled. That means you could just use your phone to scan and pay for things. Unfortunately, I haven't considered that at all before buying a new one. Accommodation I think you've already heard enough of my dumb decisions from the previous video, but actually, there's more. I started looking for accommodation in July on the SOA site. They offer rental apartments for students in Olu. In the site, the number of available apartments were getting fewer and fewer by the day. There were sublease apartment offers on Facebook, but I was scared of their authenticity. I got scared of not being able to find a place soon, so when I was offered an apartment on July 15th, I immediately took it. However, the catch is, they said they are offering the apartment starting from August. That means... Even though I'm arriving on September 1st and won't be using it on that month, I still need to pay for it. The apartment monthly rent costs 260.78 overall, but I also need to pay a one-time fee of administration fees of 135 euros and a deposit of 300 euros. The monthly rent is already reasonable. And finally, I was at ease that I have secured a place to stay. Take note though that this apartment I got is unfurnished, which means it only has fixtures and basic appliances, but no bed, table, or chairs. So even though I've already got the place, I was in constant communication with our coordinator because this apartment that I was offered was originally for degree students. There are apartments offered specifically for international students, but they still have to arrange some things so that will be really officially registered as an international student in their system. Then, by August 2nd, I still continued 
emailing them about apartment vacancies for exchange students. And they finally acknowledge that I am an international student after I send them some files to prove that I am. But then, they said dormitories for exchange students are all fully booked. I was really not that worried since I already reserved one, so I just told them to reserve me a furnished apartment for last-minute cancellations. Then finally, on August 8th, I was offered a furnished apartment which is offered only particularly for Erasmus Exchange students. I filled out the cancellation form for the first apartment I reserved, and I didn't have to pay for another administration fee. This time, the rental fee is a bit more expensive, 277.88 euros a month, but it's way better because I didn't have to think about buying beds, mattress, pillow, and other furniture once I arrive. By August 10th, everything was set for my accommodation. So basically, I spent this much for unfurnished apartment rent for August, one month deposit, administration fee, and furnished apartment rent for September, with a total of 973.66 euros. I spent this much for accommodation prior to arriving in Oulu, and this is approximately 55,000 pesos, something I forgot to include in my previous video among the expenses. I know it was a waste to have paid a month of rent without using it, and that I should have just waited, but I didn't really regret it at all because I had peace of mind knowing that I already reserved one. During that time, a lot of my classmates also didn't even have any offers at all, so it was a price I gotta pay. One thing I could recommend to you though, there are a lot of other housing providers available and sublease apartment on Facebook, and some of my classmates got those, so if you can trust those things, then it is an option. I was just not brave enough to risk. Transportation you can download this app before arriving in Olu. This is their bus app. You can see here the schedules and a map of where are the bus stops. Their bus transportation has this zoning system. You can check in the link below, but here you can see zones A, B, C, and T. You have to pay a certain amount if you'll just be traveling around a single area, such as A, where the University of Olu is. So when you're from the airport, it is a part of zone B. If you take a bus, you'll be passing both zones A and B, so you should choose the A-B option, and your ticket price would be a bit more expensive than just a single zone. Their buses are spacious, so you don't need to worry about your luggage not fitting. You could use cash, or better off just your cart. The apartment I chose was 3 kilometers away from the university, so I had to buy a monthly bus ticket. It costs around 40 euros. So if you also need it, make sure to give yourself time to purchase one as soon as you arrive since it's costly to buy a single ticket every day. Just make sure that you already have your student ID so that you could avail of their student discount. Things to do after arriving. First, check the temperature and or weather. Philippines has always been a hot country, so when I arrived at the airport and stepped outside with just my sweaters on at 12 degrees Celsius, snot just ran out of my nose. Thank God I bought some winter jackets from home. Second, buy a Finnish SIM card. You don't want to spend so much on roaming data with your Philippine SIM, so go and buy a SIM to nearest shops. Most importantly, you need data for Google Maps and maybe for just emergency calls and text. Other than that, Wi-Fi in apartments and in the university are excellent. I bought the DNA prepaid card at 24.9, and it includes unlimited internet for 30 days. Then I just bought the 19.9 euros a month promo online in the following months. The university and banks would also need your finished number, so buy one. Third, bus tickets if available. If the apartment you chose is quite far, like me, you could buy your bus tickets in the Olu service point. You have to buy it there once for the card, then you can just renew it for the preceding months online. I've put up the link of the location below. Again, remember the zoning rules and avail for the student discount. Fourth, go to DVV to register yourself and your address in the population information system. As I have mentioned in the previous video, 
The residence permit provided to us didn't indicate the Finnish personal identity code, and you needed to open a Finnish bank account, so you have to register as soon as possible. You can book an appointment, but it's a lot easier to just walk in. Remember to bring a printed copy of your apartment contract as proof of your address. We went to DVV on September 2nd, walk-in, and received our DVV confirmation on October 10th. So, yeah, a month. That's why you need to open other accounts like WISE or Revolut as a backup on which to send your scholarship allowance. Fifth, open a Finnish bank account. You can go to any Finnish bank and try to open an account. Just tell them that you have already processed your DVV files. But to be honest, they would really wait for it before officially opening one. So better you just book an appointment at a date that you think where you'd finally receive your personal identity code from DVV. Everything is seamless if you have a Finnish bank account because it's how they verify you in almost all of your transactions online. And of course, the consortium really requires you to open a Finnish bank account. Make sure to inform the bank that you are a student and also provide the necessary proofs or ID so that you won't be charged monthly. You can search the links of the banks yourself, but I've put some links to help you below. I got my first appointment on September 11th. Then I had to go a second time with my DVV files on October 17th. Then I received my card on October 30th. Sixth, go to the police. After receiving your DVV, you should also go to the police to register. As I said, the Finnish ID is not in our residence permit, and I don't think you want to bring your DVV papers with you all the time. But you could also save it on your phone actually, but just to be sure again, a police ID would be good. Aside from that, I don't know what use it, ha it has, to be honest. Nevertheless, I placed the link below for the appointment booking. Seventh, download the Tudu app. Tudu app is your friend is a student in Olu. You will get your class schedules, your ID with a QR code, the menus of the university restaurants, and most importantly, the university map. And lastly, shop for winter clothes. I already brought two winter jackets from home and bought some thermal underwear too, but I really invested in buying sweaters because it looks good and warm. But these are the clothes I bought from Shopee that I believe were super worth it. The adapter for your laptops and phone charger, sweater, thermal underwear, and wool socks. I also bought winter boots which I was very skeptical at first but it was actually really good especially around November and December when the snow is already up to your ankles. But really, you don't need it. Normal shoes will do because the snow management on the roads of Olu is perfect. Now for the monthly expenses. Let's talk about euros now because we're now in Finland. The apartment is around 300 euros a month if you got a reasonable one. And the ones in walking distance from the university are around 350 to 400 euros. Then monthly internet data. And the foods are usually around 250 to 300 euros. If you don't like going out a lot, you could even budget 200 euros. And the monthly bus tickets are 42 euros. So the total is around 670 euros. The scholarship provides 1,400 euros per month for a total duration of 24 months, and this includes the travel, visa, accommodation, and other subsistence costs. So if you budget around 700 euros a month, the extra will be, well, yours. You could use it to travel around, but don't forget to save some of it too to replenish that money you spent initially, and also for your fares during the transfer from Finland to Austria, Austria to Chile or Croatia, then Croatia to wherever you're do doing your thesis, and lastly, your expenses back to your home country. Just be smart with your money. But I think if you were able to earn that much money before going to Finland, earning it back would be easy. Well, I've experienced a lot of dumb things in life, but let me share two of them that I did back in Finland. I forgot my keys in the apartment and locked myself on Friday night. Obviously, you gotta have fun when it's Friday night, but apparently, that particular Friday, 
I didn't. Locks and saws apartments in Olu automatically locks itself once you close them. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I just realized I forgot my keys when I arrived too. My roommate wasn't also at home, so nobody could open the door for me. So I just slept at my friend's apartment the whole weekend. And when it's weekdays and office hours, you could actually borrow a spare key from the SOAS office. But on weekends, you have to call a number to open it for a fee. And I didn't want to pay for anything. So just don't be dumb as I was. I lost my bus card. Now, don't judge me. I didn't do it intentionally. I was going on a trip with some friends to Rovaniemi and I usually put my card in my pocket. It has never fallen off before but well, I guess it did and I lost my card. So I had to buy another card and of course, fees. So don't lock yourself and don't lose any cards. I really really love Finland specifically because of the snow. Most of my friends told me that I will come to hate the cold because it's depressing. But I don't know if it's because it's just almost half a year or something else, but the sight of the white snow just makes me happy. And to be honest, I really don't feel that cold. They told me to wear like two to three layers, but I didn't have to do that. I just wear I just wore well my bra, sweater, then my winter jacket. Or maybe it's also because I almost always walk home from university, so I have acclimated my body to the temperature. Anyway, let me end this by showing you a photo of the snowman in front of my apartment. And to you who are watching this, I hope you enjoy Finland as much as I did.